Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your API keys in your Android project so that you don't have to hard code it in your application and still you can use it anywhere in your Kotlin or Java program. So let's get started. Okay, so there are different kind of API keys that you will require in your application. One is uh, maybe for your own API that you can fetch from your server from time to time and uh, it can also have an expiry time so that uh, every time it expires you will get an updated key. But there are some keys that uh, you need in your application like for a Google Locations API. So that should be present inside of your application and how you can secure that key. So first of all. You can see there is a local dot properties file so we will create a properties file and uh, we will put our keys inside of that you can also put it inside local dot properties but uh, let us create another suppose i am creating saga dot properties file and here i am defining two keys suppose it, it is for dev and it is for prod environment and make sure you are not pushing it to your repository for obvious reason you don't have to expose your keys and and now how we can get this in our kotlin file so for that we are going to use the generated build configuration file okay for that let me show you so in your build feature you can write build config equal to true so when you are doing this so there will be a build configuration file that will be generated after you build your application and with that generated file you can access your keys we just have to define what key we want to put inside of our build.gradle in our build configuration file so we will get our local props file here that will be a properties file so we can get a properties file here import this and we need to access that saga dot properties file so that is a file object so this is a file object that is saga dot properties and now we have to get all the properties and load it inside of our properties file because this is a file object and this is a properties object and we can only access our properties from this local props properties object don't worry this is just a boilerplate code you have to just hard code it like this and now all the properties that are present in saga dot properties will be loaded in local props and now what we can do is suppose for our release build type we can put this uh, build build config field that is type string name is api key and the property is local props dot get property with api key prod so this will be referenced here and uh, suppose i am having a debug build type so that will be api key and that is it and if you are also defining any product flavors you can also define different keys here if you don't know about product flavors don't worry you can just skip it you can just stick to different build types majorly there will be only release and debug build type so you can define different keys for that and that is it so let me sync now and if you see inside of app kotlin okay there is this error saying that it is a null type and uh, it may be null because this is not loaded properly and the reason is i'm using here this function so it should be file and the location is root directory so now it should access this file properly and it will load the local props and it should work now okay gradle sync is done and it is not null so if i build my project you can build it from here build and rebuild project okay so the build is done and here you can see there is a java generated folder you can see there is a build configuration file and it contains a field api key and you can see one two zero which is our api key for debug type and here you can also see the comment and you can use this build config file anywhere in your code so this is my code this is my compose file and i can directly write build config dot api key so that is fine that is a static type so you can access any key that you are defining here that is it for today i hope you like this video if yes then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching